The new 250 watt solar panels are installed on the frame and it's good and rigid. Now comes the wiring. The old solar panels had a different gauge wire because they were only 200 amp. And different connectors. So what we've got to do is convert to this style, which is more or less a standard solar connector, and increase the wire size. As you can see, eh, turn it in that perspective. It's quite a bit bigger to get the full amperage. So we've undone the wiring. And we're down here to our hall wire plates where it's waterproof right here and of course sealed down here to keep any water out of the hall to put our new wiring in. So we've got to strip out the old wiring, put in the new wiring. So let's get to it. So to remove this old wiring, we've got it all, cut all the zip ties where we had it attached to the frame. And now we've got to remove the weather box that goes through the hall. We've got the screws out. We installed it with quarter 20 screws. And you can see we used rib nuts. So we drill into the fiberglass and snap a rib nut in with quarter 20 threads to secure it. And we're going to go down in the hall and strip these wires out all the way back to the battery and install new ones. So to do that, got to go in through here and go way up in the corner, up there. And pull this wiring out all the way up through here and run the new wiring so let's do some boat yoga and there's the old wiring but before we can cut it we got to trace it all the way back to the battery and disconnect it or we'll create a short so let's start tracing this out and follow it around and disconnect it from the battery before we cut it we got the wires traced through here. They go through that bulkhead back there. They go through this bulkhead into the battery compartment here. Right here. Then they come up to the charge controllers here. So we're gonna have to cut the wires here to get it back down through this bulkhead and Trace the wires over here to the battery and disconnect them. And you can see they're very undersized. Uh, I was using the original wiring sent with the controller, but uh, the new solar panels have much larger wires to carry more amperage. So let's get this cleaned up and start running the new wires. Now to wire up the new panels. The connectors are weatherproof with o-ring seals but we still lube them up with dielectric silicone grease to seal out any moisture this is great stuff it's not real expensive available at the auto parts it'll keep salt water out and keep these connections from being an issue now we've got two solar panels up here and we're getting a 40 watt controller so we're going to wire these in series so we'll go positive to negative between the panels and then take a negative and a positive wire down through the hall and we will zip tie everything up in place so it don't get snagged getting in and off the back of the boat or get the connectors pulled on so let's get this back in wired up before we do some more boat yoga. Another note just for organization, and in the event that I should have to work on either set of solar panels or the wiring, I'm making sure that the zip ties only encase one set of wires so that I can remove whichever one I need to work on without disturbing the others. Keeping it nice and neat. Okay, the wiring's all connected in place, running down 
the bimini leg over here to the hall entry point so now we got to thread it into the hall entry shield there that keeps water out and uh then we'll bolt that down and seal it good with some butyl tape we'll show you that okay we're in the weather shield connector and now we feed it down into the hall Hopefully we got enough slack to make the run without having to splice into it. Because we've got a lot of bulkheads to pass through. Now it's time to fill in the deck with butyl tape where we're going to route the deck cover. So we'll put that underneath here and put the screws back in. So we got a nice layer of butyl tape under the deck fitting. So let's screw her down, seal her up, keep the moisture out. And there we go. Butyl tape is oozing out around the edges. So we snug up the seals around the wires. And now we have a watertight entry into the deck hall. You don't want to go much tighter than finger tight here. We put a little dielectric lube on the seals because this is plastic threads. You don't want to strip them. So Now to move inside the boat. We'll clean up after a couple days letting the sun heat that up and seal it and ooze under the pressure. And we'll go inside the boat and continue the wiring. Time to drill more holes in the boat. We've mounted the solar controller it's a little bit bigger than the other ones but i think it looks good there in line with the rest so we'll be able to monitor it at a glance and we're going to run the wires along this same pattern right here so i know i'm not right on the mark but my center punch mark is what i'm looking for We'll put four holes here, clean it up a little bit, and of course vacuum up the mess, and those where the wires will run. And the wiring is complete. Got the new controller mounted, and we are cranking out 900 watts of solar power now. Glad to have this project done.